Jesus! <laughs> Welcome to the weekend edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs, the most hardcore bodybuilding supplements on the market. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Friday, October 17th, 2014, and on today's show, Dixon goes back to school, Canadian Quadzilla, Robert Oberst tackles a legend, Issa Obiad ready for China, and Nathan Sylvester wins the British Championships. All that, and much, much more, only on Muscle in the Morning. Fresh off a controversial 10th place finish at this year's 212 Olympia, Charles Dixon has begun his off-season prep as he attempts to continue riding the wave of momentum he built during a successful 2014 contest season that saw Dixon earn his first career victory at the Chicago Pro. Recently, the man affectionately known as The Tank decided to make a pit stop at a local elementary school where he talked to a group of delighted kids about the benefits of exercise and healthy eating. Dixon had this to say about the experience, quote, I am very thankful for the chance to talk to the kids. I truly enjoyed it. They thanked me for coming. What little did they know, I probably enjoyed it more than they did. 25-year-old Canadian bodybuilding sensation Tony Searle is back in the gym after a tough fifth place finish at the Canadian Nationals. Searle and coach John Mountain Dog Meadows have been reformulating a new strategy as they roll into the offseason. The plan? To keep adding clean quality muscle while staying relatively lean and certainly not adding excess body fat simply for the sake of chasing the scale. Look for a bigger, harder version of Searle to take the stage in 2015 and be on the lookout for his upcoming RX Muscle exclusive interview. At 6 foot 8 and nearly 400 pounds, there aren't many men in the universe who pose a threat to pro strongman's bearded behemoth Robert Oberst. But then again, it isn't every day that you get a chance to stand across from one of the truly iconic and legendary figures in the world of mixed martial arts, a man who helped launch the sport to global proportions. But recently, Oberst and his powerful beard had the opportunity to step onto the mat with the legendary Hoist Gracie, the man who won the first two Ultimate Fighting Championships. After a half-hearted attempt to tangle with the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu master, Oberst decided to revert back to what he knows best, picking things up and putting them down. Issa Obiad is in the gym preparing to step on stage at the first IFBB Asian Pro Bodybuilding Championships. The landmark event serves as a tremendous achievement for both the IFBB and bodybuilding community as a whole, as the sport has finally managed to expand its reach into the world's most populated country for the first time ever. We haven't seen much of Obiad this year. He only appeared at two pro shows and hasn't been on stage since taking third at the Chicago Pro earlier this year. Perhaps the long rest will be just what the doctor ordered for Obiad and it'll allow him to recapture the form we saw from him at last year's Dallas Europa Super Show where he managed to find the right combination of size, conditioning and fullness. With many of the top Olympia competitors calling it a year after the IFBB San Marino, Obiad has a tremendous opportunity to possibly snag a win in China and requalify for next year's Mr. Olympia. The British Championships took place this past weekend, and a new superstar in the making emerged. Heavyweight and overall champion Nathan Sylvester shocked the crowd and fans in attendance as he showcased a ridiculously proportioned physique. Sylvester's 27-inch waist and 22-inch arms were the highlight of what may one day lead to one of the most dominant bodies in the IFBB. The new IFBB Pro has a unique dogged determination that actually saw him complete the 26.2-mile London Marathon earlier this year. With a psychotic work ethic and love of pain, look for Sylvester to shake up the bodybuilding world in 2015. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. Brought to you by Iron Mag Labs, the most hardcore bodybuilding supplements on the market. Check out IronMagLabs.com today. And for full quotes and Muscle in the Morning bonus features, join Muscle in the Morning's official Facebook page. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And remember to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. <laughs>